Okay, now we're going to talk about the quick ratio. Uh, the quick ratio is a liquidity ratio, and the formula for it is on the screen here. So the quick ratio is current assets minus inventory divided by current liabilities. And we can see that it is effectively the same ratio as the current ratio, except that it excludes inventory from the numerator. Of all the current assets, inventory is the hardest to turn into cash. So this ratio says, well, we can pay our, how, how well can we pay our bills without liquidating our inventory? Um, for service-based businesses and software businesses that have very little inventory, the quick ratio will be very similar to the current ratio. But it's important uh, to look at this for any companies that have significant inventory positions. And one of those is, um, is Hasbro, a toy manufacturer, and indeed they have a significant amount of inventory. So let's look at an example of calculating the quick ratio for Hasbro. Uh, here's Hasbro's balance sheet at the end of 2018. Um, and we can see that current assets um, are 3.082 billion. And in that, uh, that is comprised of uh, cash plus accounts receivable and prepaid expenses and $443 million of inventory. So we're gonna take $443 million inventory out of current assets. Um, and we're gonna divide it all through by current liabilities. And so when we do that, we get our numerator is uh, $2.6 billion divided by current liabilities, we get 2.1. Now, uh, this means that excluding inventory, uh, Hasbro has $2.1 of cash and near cash assets for every dollar of current liabilities. Or put another way, they can pay all of their current obligations more than twice over without liquidating inventory. Uh, in general, this is very good, and we would say that Hasbro is liquid. A higher number here means greater liquidity. Maintaining a quick ratio of one is the traditional rule of thumb, but it needs to be in context with the industry. So we need to compare Hasbro to its peers in the same line of business. And we've done that here on the left-hand side. We've got Hasbro, Hasbro relative to its peers in terms of quick ratios of 2018. And from this, we can see that Hasbro is at the higher end of its peer group, and all of these companies are well over the traditional target of one. And when we use horizontal analysis to compare Hasbro's quick ratio of 2.1 to the same measure in prior years, we can see that Hasbro is less liquid than it was in 2017, but more than in 2016. So look, uh, 2.1 is very respectable, and it doesn't look like this company has liquidity issues. On the other hand, an analyst could ask if Hasbro's 2.1 current ratio is too high, given that the industry is lower. And with modern cash management tools, many companies are comfortable managing quick ratios much lower than this without any concern. More than a third of the companies in the S&P 500 have a quick ratio between a half and one. So that's between 0.5 and one, and uh, they don't experience significant liquidity issues as a result. So these, uh, these uh, we would say that Hasbro in this case is highly liquid and maybe, uh, maybe this is too high and they should look for alternative uses for their cash.